Keyword transformation 14. Here's the question, and you should write this down on your computer or on a piece of paper, and have a think if you know the answer. When you've done that, press play and continue watching this video. Okay, so hopefully you've done that. Now, whether you think you know the answer or not, you should still watch the rest of this video and go through using my 10 step technique, because if you memorize this technique, you'll be much better equipped to tackle keyword transformation questions. So let's start together by looking at step one in the technique. Read the example sentence and the sentence with the missing information. I was really pleased that at last my mother had managed to give up smoking. I was really pleased that at last my mother up smoking. Step two, put a line through the duplicate information in both sentences. So take a minute and put a line through information that you find in the example sentence and in the sentence that we need to complete. And when you've done that, press play on the video and I'll show you which words I put a line through. Okay, so hopefully you've done that. And we can see here that I've put a line through I was really pleased that at last my mother and up smoking. So that shows us that we need to be focusing on had managed to give and the keyword successful. Step number three is to identify the type of word they give us, which is here the word successful. Is successful a noun, a verb, an adjective or something else? And you can pause the video again and write down what type of word you think it is. And when you're ready, press play. OK, so successful is an adjective. It's really important to be able to identify word types in English. This will help you a lot with your English and specifically with the use of English. So I recommend studying them. And if you get a good course book, there should be a lot of information on different word types in there, explaining them and giving them examples. If you want any more advice on this, feel free to write to me. Step four, is the word successful used in any common collocations, expressions or phrasal verbs? Again, you can pause this video and write down any that you can think of with the word successful. And when you're ready, press play and we'll see what I've written. OK, so hopefully you've done that. And I thought of this. Successful in and a verb in. I've heard this a lot in English. Successful in and a verb in. OK, step number five. We need to try to complete the sentence now using the information without a line through in the example sentence and the keyword successful. So take a minute again and try to complete your sentence. And when you're ready, press play and we'll see what words I've written in the gap. OK, so hopefully you've done that. And I can show you that I've written was successful in giving. So I've got my successful in and verb in and I've also put the word was. OK. Let's have a look and don't worry, by the way, if you've written something different, you can continue using the next steps with my words here or with your own words. So let's have a look at step number six. If you're not sure about the answer, try asking yourself a question using the information you have. So I'm going to now try and write a question based on the sentence which I've completed. And you should do the same for your sentence. And when you've done that, press play and I'll show you which question I've written down. OK, so hopefully you've done that. Now, the question which I've written is, was my mother successful in giving up smoking? And the next step, step number seven, is to try to write an answer to this question. So again, pause the video, write an answer to your question. And when you're ready, press play and I'll show you the answer that I've written. 
to my question. Okay, so the answer that I've written to my question is yes, my mother was successful in giving up smoking. And I can see here that in my answer, I have many of the same words that are actually also in the sentence which I completed. Was successful in giving. Okay. Step number eight. Can we now put a line through all the remaining information? Again, pause the video, see if you can put a line through the information left in the example sentence, and if it has the same information in your sentence. And when you're ready, press play, and we'll see what words I put a line through. Okay, so hopefully you've done that. I put a line through, had managed to give. Because had managed to is the same as saying was successful in, and give is the same as giving. Okay, step number nine is the overall meaning of our completed sentence the same as the overall meaning of the example sentence. So the example sentence, I was really pleased that at last my mother had managed to give up smoking. And our sentence, I was really pleased that at last my mother was successful in giving up smoking. Well, yes, I think the overall meaning is the same. So finally, step number 10, make sure the words we're using match each other. So if we use an uncountable noun, for example, make sure you don't write many before it. So here in our example, um, successful is often with in, so that's fine. And it's often followed with a verb ing, so that's fine as well. And also, my mother is a singular person, she, so it's correct to say she was. So that's good too. So I'm feeling pretty happy about my answer now, and I can tell you, that it is the correct answer. If you've written down a different answer, which you also think is correct, feel free to ask me. Otherwise, if you think you got the answer wrong, don't worry, because we're gonna do loads more examples like this. So I'll see you in Keyword Transformation 15.